So when you first start communicating with spirit, it might feel overwhelming, confusing, and sometimes downright frustrating. Believe me, I know. It's like playing the game of trades for the first time and having no clue what any of it means. This is because spirits don't have bodies or voices, and it's very subtle, and you can easily think you're making it up. On top of that, you may feel like you have no control over who and what is coming through and how fast or slow it's being delivered. I'm going to share with you a few steps that I've used over the years that have helped me to make some order out of the chaos. Number one, who are you? The biggest challenge for me in mediumship has been trying to sort through all the many spirits that tend to file in and all at once. These spirits are beyond eager and excited to get through and connect with you. It can be overwhelming trying to sort through all of these spirits and distinguish who's who and what they're trying to communicate. The next key thing to do then is to ask the spirit who they are. And remember, you don't even have to say this out loud. You can communicate telepathically just thinking the question to them and trusting they do hear you. And then wait, and you will either get a mental, visual, auditory word, um, a phrase that's running through your, your mind's voice. Remember, spirit uses your frame of reference. So this is where learning your spirit language or vocabulary does come in handy. Second step, how do I know it's really you? So this is all about asking for evidence, huge. Uh, this is about concrete validations that are undeniable and that help to prove um, that it's a sincere connection with the spirit. Evidence um, or validations are things like how the person passed away, what their name was, or any names of their family members. Uh, sometimes it's words or phrases that only they use and it sounds just like them. Again, ask the spirit for this kind of evidence. I always say the work speaks for itself when spirits come through and offer up um, as many validations as necessary that deepens authentic faith that this is real and that this is happening. No one is closer to your own loved ones in spirit or your own intuition than you are. I hope these steps help you and I hope you put it to the test and see what works for you. Take what works, leave the rest as always.